All right, we're totally off uh, kilter here, but that stuff was important. Let's get to uh, the shout out. To uh, the shout out, shout out, shout out. No, we can do that one. Come on, DJ Danarchy, the sonic mastermind of the TMBS experience. Do we have that sound of the UAW? Shout out, This is out of control. Shout out, shout out. That's creepy. Shout out, shout out. That's weird. Shout out, creepy. Shout out, weird. Shout out, crazy. Shout out, shout out. This is crazy. Shout out. This is out of control. Shout out. This is weird. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. So this is incredibly important. The United Auto Workers have announced a general strike targeting General Motors. Uh, I've heard that Kaiser Permanente employees might be going on strike. There's a lot of moves in this direction. And we also know that when we talk about the trajectory of these modern movements starting to finally do something after this just relentless extraction of the last several decades in this modern uh, iteration of sort of hyper-capitalism. There's Occupy Wall Street, there's Black Lives Matter, which is absolutely part of this, as Kianga Taylor uh, outlined for us. There's the Sanders campaign, there's fights for minimum wage, but there's also teacher strikes across the country. Those are key in places like West Virginia and Oklahoma. Check out these strikers explaining what's happening to CNN. What is it that you all want? Hey, how you doing? Hey, great to see you. What, what do you want? Can you encapsulate it in a couple of sentences of why you're striking? Uh, yeah, just improvements on wages, healthcare benefits, and profit sharing across the board. A lot of things that we sacrificed back during the recession in 2007, 2008, we want to be compensated for it now as the company is making record-breaking profits. And so, Ray, you also, as I understand it, are a single dad. And so what time did you show yes. up? What time did you have to show up today to strike? Um, 6 a.m. Okay. And so tell me the effect that this is having on your home and your life. Um, well, being a father, the health care benefits are tremendously important and trying to survive off of a reduced income is very difficult. So going back to work and with a fair wage is very important for all of us, you know, company wide. As we understand it, this is just this morning. There are still dozens of sticking points. How does that make you both feel? Yeah. Um, for me personally, I understand the, the difficulty of, of the negotiations and the importance of them. So this being a lengthy strike, I'm fine with that being the case as long as everything is ironed out and it's fair for everyone. Because I understand the position of the company as well, trying to go forward and being profitable and being on the cutting edge of new technology and being the leader across the board with uh, the auto industry. But also on the backside of that, the, the workers who sacrificed for the company to get ahead today and be profitable as it is today, we want to be compensated as well because we took a major sacrifice over the years. Could you imagine? I mean, I, if anything, obviously, and this, and look, I want to just say, obviously, hundred. It's easy for me to say <laughs> I'm not in that position, but it is striking to me that a company that has screwed these workers over so hard, and this gentleman is still considering the broader stakeholder interest. His mindset sounds almost like the old German stakeholder model. I'm concerned about all the well-being of all of us, even as this company through deregulation has clawed and teared more and more and more to a just disgusting degree as these companies have across the economy. Strikes are how things happen. You know, there's no doubt as a big macro event, the Bernie Sanders campaign is the most important thing happening in international politics. That would actually change and be radically amplified if strikes took place in, a, in, a, in, a, in an accelerated degree across this country and maybe even across the globe. Now, again, I always caution when I say these things because I'm not in that position. And this is an incredible risk people take. I mean, I remember even as a kid being fascinated by a local picket line of, I think it was some, you know, AT&T or some type of phone workers or something. And, you know, I was younger and it was just, you know, there was activity and excitement. And I was curious about politics. And I talked to them a little bit. You know, they were nice people. They were, you know, probably happy to talk about what they were doing. And it was a big risk that came across to me even then. 
And at the very least, if you're in the proximity and anybody's striking, bring over a sandwich, bring over pizza. It sounds silly, but legit honk your horn. Let them know materially, energetically, whatever. We have their back. And that's the point really of this segment. And it, and it benefits all of us. I mean, that's one of the best slogans ever. You like the weekend, thank you, thank you, labor union. It's the truth. That if, didn't happen through conversation and economic development. Happened through strikes. If you're somebody that who gets anxious about like, what more can I do besides vote every like two years or whatever, yes. this is it. This is it. And you can support them. All right, this is Bernie. This is Bernie saying, okay, GM stopped paying for healthcare for at least 46,000 employees on strike. Disgusting. And Bernie wrote, this is cruel, outrageous, and blatant attempt to force the union into submission. It's the type of corporate greed that the American people are sick and tired of. I say to GM, restore healthcare benefits and your workers have earned and deserve. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.